guys, welcome back to Minecraft Down Under. This is episode 10. So last blooming episode, we started uh, building the structure for the chicken farm. That is right, we started building the structure for the chicken farm. We talked about uh, how it's going to look and uh, trying to fit it in with the theme of the rest of the stuff. Now, I've been doing, obviously, a bunch of off-cam work. I will go over there shortly and... Oh, we can't see it from here, but it looks spooky, and I've got, I've got to point it out. It looks bloody spooky. I'll see if we can get it to load in the distance. Like, this new chicken farm that we are building. Look at it! Look at the bloody thing! It looks blooming scary! Struth! Just, just the... It's not even done. That's like half built. We've still got two more layers to go, and a freaking a, a bloody glass uh, egg to go on the blooming roof. Struth! It looks, it looks cool, but scary all at once. And we're going to have these guys. Automatic chicken farm inside. Okay, so I've been smelting down glass and everything for obviously the glass, um, uh, glass egg to sit on the roof. Uh, I've been doing more uh, work on the, oh, I'll probably take you guys over there shortly. I don't want to chinwag too much because I've actually got too much too much work on it. I know I, I, oh, I chinwag way too much. All right, we'll leave glass here, but I'm going to go ahead and grab some uh, some more stone here. We're going to need it. Bum, 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 bum. Just grab a bunch of this stone. Trust me, we're going to need it. I want to get the other couple layers done of the uh, chicken farm. There we go. So we'll take all this over there. Oh, put my fishing rod back. Hang on a sec, guys. Put my fishing rod back there because I'm. Oh, as you can see, I needed I needed more fish. Okay, so we'll quickly pull into obviously the uh, main base guardian farm before going over to our spooky new uh, chicken temple water temple thing that we're building. Um, Struth. All right, straight over here. So yeah, I've been doing a butt ton of work. Also got most of the sand done over in. The, oh, we'll talk about the temple in a minute, but we'll talk about main base first. We'll come over here if we can squeeze in real quick. Just be careful. There we go. So this is what I'm up to. Literally. So if we can just jump off real quick. Try not to die. But this is what I'm up to. I'm near, I'm near the middle of clearing the water out. Oh, no. No, you don't. Oh, 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 oh. I'm getting the bloody hell out of here. Whoa. Go, 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 go. Yeah. So it's getting a lot more vicious. But as you can see, I'm halfway, almost halfway there of uh, clearing out the main base there, so that's good. I've been trying just to chisel away at everything, but I'm kind of spreading myself thin here. I worked, uh, I would say, four hours in clearing, not clearing, but filling in the sand last night. Have a look at this. Boom. So we're here. As we built this, we started building this last episode, as you can see, but uh, all the sand wasn't here. I literally, 100% now, filled the entire thing down with sand so she's full, full now of sand which is bloody fantastic problem is that is probably five six maybe a little bit more maybe seven inventories full of sand now reason why is look how deep it goes literally down near bedrock that is freaking ridiculous this is a deep ocean the really deep part of the ocean there so it takes almost a stack that's right a stack of sand Per line, stack, stack, stack. It's freaking ridiculous. And obviously, I replaced the the dirt with sand as well to kind of you know blend in. All right, data, stop blubbing chin wagon, and we need to get back to work. I got the. I still haven't done the back area yet. We'll go do that. Uh, let's put some more brick together here real quickly, and we'll start on the second layer. Um, I think we're going to continue the same trait. We just got to keep counting to make it all, you know, even and, and right and all that good stuff. So just give me a second. Whack those together there. This is going to, oh, trust me guys, it should be a pretty epic looking chicken farm, I reckon, when we're done. Okay. All right. So we went, we've got to be careful because we've been going, as you can see, we've been one, two, three, then wall. And we did hit that here too. One, two, three, then wall. So obviously, well, duh, it's going to be one, two, three, then wall. So let's look, use some scaffolding. Um, dirt, please. So that would be lovely. Some dirt to get up there. All right. Up, 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 up. Okay. So one, two, three. That should be, yeah, that should be three. Okay. Lovely. Oh, wow. Wrong stone. Oh, are you kidding me? Ah, oh, struth. I've got the freaking debuff. That is so annoying. Something shocking annoying. I'll get rid of that in a second. But there, there's one, two, and three. And that's what I wanted. 
So mark that, that's going to be three in. So we need to, to do the roughly a ring um, right around. I'm going to, I'm going to go one down. I'm going to go one down. You've got to, you've got to understand, oh, crikey, I just filled that in. You've got to understand there's going to be water where we're sitting right now. Like the, it's a, it's a water slash, it's a water temple. Or it's designed to be a water temple slash chicken farm, right? Right. So, that's got, this canal is going to be full of water. Probably put canals on the outside. Uh, definitely a way for the boat to get into the temple. All that good stuff. So, let's get this second level done here. I've got to sort of wait for this to come out. Um, so, same. How do we, How much do we go up? I've got to measure that. Hang on a second. Jump down. Ouch. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, it is six. Yeah, so I went six. So obviously the next layer has to be the same, you know, one of the same things. Six. So we'll go up. So if this, this, that's, no, this is the top of the wall. That's the top of the wall. Sorry, this is the little canal den. So six from this one here. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be the sixth one from there because just, just picture this, picture this here was the ground. Yeah, yeah, like that down there. So it's six high, and then from there it will start. Okay, I got it. So got to go up six again. So the wall will be um, one, two, three. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Far out. This thing's getting tall. So I've got to make a wall all the way around that tall. Ouch. Yeah, all the way around that tall. Okay, let me go ahead and get this done, because I've oh, got to be waiting for this freaking mining fatigue to... Oh, well, 22 seconds, then I can sort of clean it up. Got to get rid of this. But what I'll do is I think first, before I keep going, I've got to do this on each of the corners. I sort of didn't do that on the back corners over here just yet. So let's get that done real quick. Um, that was five, wasn't it? We only went up five. So one... Two, three, four, five. There we go. Alrighty then, guys. I am back and I've completed pretty much the main structure is now complete. I brought it up. Let me show you what I have done. Ouch. I was meant to grab that. Um, remove all my scaffolding dirt here. So pretty much I've what I've just made sure that I've done is obviously come in three, 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 all the way up the top. I've gone six, 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 going all the way up the top, by the way, like just making sure that I've I've got six here, six there, and six there. So yeah, there's it. Oh crikey, six, six, six. Oh jeez. This this place is just getting worse and worse. But anyway, so obviously this main bit here is where the crown jewel jewel of the build is going to sit and that is the glass that is right that is going to be the glass um that's going to be the glass egg full, filled, filled with water the the egg's going to leak water down obviously into the canals and the canals are going to flow over into the other canals and so on and so on making it the uh water themed that we're aiming for for the temple but it lo should look pretty cool we got to somehow make the egg the glass egg obviously glow that's going to be definitely a key point to it making it glow but we've got to sort of get di diamond is going here so here's the middle get rid of this torch here's the middle that's where she's going to sit right there so we'll just put a torch back down there uh just double check one two three one two three one two three one two yes okay so that's all fine um this is the center so i have to find a a glass a, a, like a, i'm going to use plots everybody knows good old plots you know that's where you obviously can make domes and eggs and round structures and all that good stuff i'll use plots to find myself a, a roughly egg shaped um glass the just well, not made out of well, the plots is not made of glass but egg shaped to go on here so what i'm going to do is get i'll get my bum down from here now i'm going to go grab probably 10 to 15 stacks of glass it's not going to be huge remember i don't want to overpower the entire structure here i really don't ouch, i really need something to get down off of this thing um i don't want to obviously overpower the structure that's what i worry about probably the most 
is overpowering the structure with something gigantic on the roof. No, it's just got to be like a jewel that sits on the roof that glows very nicely. And obviously, when we add the color to the rest of the build, um, we, well, it's got to look nice. It has to look nice. So I'll unload all this. I'm going to go back real quick, bring this sand back. I'm going to, I'm, de I'm probably going to get about 15 stacks, I reckon. 15 stacks of uh, glass should do it. Uh, but let's have a quick squeeze from a distance, shall we? All right. Beep, beep, beep. All right. Let's have a quick squeeze and see how she's actually going from a distance. Because now the structure has technically doubled in size. It is not the small single... This, Oh, there you go. She's coming along nicely. Yeah, I can see scaffolding everywhere, and I haven't really put any more holes in it, but it's coming along nicely. Once that, that crown jewel is on the roof there, and some colour and glowstone is added and water leaking off it, it should look bloody brilliant. Well, cross some fingers. Cross some fingers. So anyway, heading home right now. We'll grab some... I'll, I'll smelt as much glass as I possibly can... 15 stacks should do it. Should. Should do it. I'm not, not guaranteeing anything, but should do it. Because I do have... I did have quite a few stacks already done. So I might be able to just run over to plots and see what we can come up with. Um, this chest. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Do you think 12? It's not going to be huge. I've got to remember, it's not going to be huge, but I don't want... Not to have enough, if you know what I mean. Alright, well, I'll, I'll smelt down 15. We'll get 15 stacks, and then I'll go grab this... Go, go see what size we can do here. So I'll be right back, guys. Alrighty then, guys. I am back. I've got just enough glass, I reckon, to do it. I've been to plots to see roughly what sort of egg shape that I will obviously be going for. I will leave the diameters for the actual egg shape in the description below, especially if people are following, you know, the build at home or you've got your own world that you're following this build on. Obviously, you're going to want to know. Yeah, diameters. Oh, truth is a skelly inside. Come on, mate. Come towards me. Oh, he still got me. Rotten bugger. Oi. All right. He's deader than a dead dingo's dunger. Let's climb back up there real quick, shall we? Uh, we'll just scaffold them up. There's no point right now. We can obviously take them down later on. Right up. Okay. So, off the top, the it's a, an ellipsoid, obviously. A stretched ellipsoid. So, the height of this, this egg is going to be 14. The width is going to be 10. The depth is all is going to be 10. Okay, you got that? So, height, 14. Width, 10. Depth, 10. And that's roughly an egg shape. It's not too big. As you can, as you can tell by the diameters, it's obviously not huge, but it should not overpower the rest of the structure. Now, we're building domes, eggs, everything else. Big fat tip is obviously use dirt or something, uh, especially when you're going up. Okay? Alrighty. So, let's just jump right into it. It's going to sit right here. So, let's place down our first few glass blocks here. Boom, boom. Yes, this is the first level right here. Number one. We have... Uh, I have 14 more of this to go. I'm not going to obviously do this entire thing on cam. That's kind of silly. Um, I don't want to bore people, obviously, to death. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this will be the second layer. As you see, I'm going around like this. Ba bum. I think this is how it goes. I've got it. I've got plots up on my other screen, so I'm looking at the second layer here. There we go. See what I mean about using dirt so we don't waste glass. But you can roughly see the size of the egg that's going to be going up here. Roughly, roughly, roughly. So, all right, let me get let me get this done. As I said, I'll leave the the, the plots link in the description because I stress that a lot. I oh, you normally get a lot of messages. Good data. How did you do that? Well, I use plots. It's like a brilliant site for domes and eclipsoids and and eggs and whatever you want round. It's bloody perfect. So I'll leave it there. Obviously, di the diameters of the eclipsoid as well will be in the description below. I'm stressing that a lot because I don't need unnecessary messages, if you know what I mean. <laughs> alright, alright. Back to it. Stop, chin wagon data. we got to get this thing done. Alrighty.
Alrighty, I'm back. So it is done. The egg is complete. It's definitely not as big as I thought. Like I thought it would be a little bit bigger, but but it's yeah, it's definitely not going to be overpowering. The sun is actually setting. Uh, the biggest problem is how the bloody hell do I get down from here? Just so I can have a squiz at a distance. I want to see what this thing looks like, and I got to get rid of the dirt inside too. So what we'll do is I might have to sort of break in and then come back because I want to fill it full of water it's going to be full of water so maybe I'll just break in up the top here um, and go ahead and just sort of fall down in and just get rid of the dirt so here we go please not die oh jeez okay it is egg shaped isn't it this looks like an egg it does it has to be an egg shape crikey I'm, I'm gonna look like a fruit loop if it doesn't look nothing like an egg gotta be roughly look like an egg all right eat some more all right take out this i'll just go up the middle screw this so we'll just go right up the middle here i was on the bottom part i was just removing the dirt as i went but on the top bit was a little bit different i should have removed the dirt as i went that was a my bad let's see and we'll just put the glass back there there you go all right she's done so all i've got to do now is we're gonna have a look to see what she looks like from a distance in a second we'll break we'll break this here get out just plop that back on there uh put some torches around for now just make sure there's no nothing that's gonna obviously spawn up here but what i want to do oh i don't have any on me all right we'll climb down real quick um and we'll grab we're gonna go ahead and grab some more stone brick before we take a squiz i want to make the like the the holder or like the egg holder that's what i want to do so we'll quickly go ahead and grab uh some more stone brick here a few of these bad boys should do us scaffold right back up on there we're gonna put a ladder or something in the middle and yeah, keep scaffolding right up here just keep going keep going go 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 and here actually hang on before i forget i'm gonna put some torches around here until this is full of water because at this present time, I don't want mobs obviously spawning here. So I've done this farm a little backwards. Normally, I build, I, I start the farm, I start the guts of the farm and like get the the redstone and everything working. I sort of like you know and then work out from there, get storage done and everything else, structure etc. This time I've sort of concentrated on the structure wise before getting the guts of the farm done. A little bit different for me. You're changing things up. Oh crikey! Okay, so the corners might be a little bit different than we thought. Touching the corners, yeah, no, touching's fine. Yep, no, that's fine. I don't mind that touching because it might give a, it might give off the effect that it is. Um, and we'll put a torch here. No, I'll put a torch just here. Uh, it might give give off the effect it's holding the gl the glass egg, and that might look way cool. So we'll just plop these guys down here, and then plop a torch down. And do this corner here. Oh, I should get rid of this. There we go. So we can at least have a look from a distance very shortly and see if she's any good. Oh, this better be good. I'm wasting so much time over here. Bom, bom, bom. Last one. All right. Done. And the torch. Actually, we can get rid of these torches here. Because where we're standing is meant to be water. It's going to be water. Uh, to be honest, actually, I'm... I'm oh, crikey. I didn't think of that. The egg actually comes out the side. Where the hell's the water going to come from? I thought I was going to put water, like a hole in the side and let the water sort of drip down. It might come from here or in the center. I don't bloody know. Struth. I didn't think about that. Didn't think about that at all. Okay, now that's all done. Let's go. Where is our scaffolding? Where is it? Going every single corner here. Are you blooming kidding? There it is. All right, let's get off of here. All right, let's go have a look and see what she looks like. Here we go. Little nervous. Up close like that. Mm, I'm not judging, but distance. Here we go. We'll go from a distance. All right, we'll go halfway out. Halfway out. Do a U-turn. See what she looks like. All right, that's, that'll do. You think that'll do? Yep, that'll do. Oh, hello, hello, hello. That's not too overpowering. I actually, I was kind of disappointed on the size, but then I'm thinking, now that I'm looking at it, 
the size it's really uh, it's it's perfect it's like the crown jewel sitting on top that's absolutely freaking perfect once that is glowing like once that is full of water probably a rod of glowstone right up the center of her probably just to get her glowing a little bit i think that's going to look brilliant absolute freaking brilliant this thing is coming along nicely absolutely stunning well i think it's stunning look at that look at that i just oh. you know what and the sun's gonna rise very shortly isn't it it where's the sun rise from oh no it's not gonna rise no it's going to yeah it's built perfectly the sun should rise behind the the egg that's gonna look freaking awesome hang on i'm gonna go sleep and uh and we're gonna get a sunrise and i think we'll get a shot before we we call it <laughs> i'll be right back Alrighty then, I am back. I just slept in the bed and oh, maybe I should have waited for the sunrise to come up. I, I was a being impatient. I slept in the bed, but there you go. That is what she looks like. I think it's absolutely stunning, guys. Oh, now to full, I feel it full of freaking water. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching episode 10 of Minecraft Down Under. Don't forget if you're enjoying the content, make sure you smash those buttons, give it a like, comment below, and go the extra mile and share the playlist on your favourite social media. The link is in the description to the playlist by the way guys. It would help out the series immensely. Alright guys, I'll catch us all later.